Hi, Tefaldoon here, and today I'm going to show you two different methods to connect your Wiimote to your Windows 11 or Windows 10 PC and create an interactive touchscreen or whiteboard. Now, while I don't have a MacBook, I will be showing you the links to where you can download the Mac version of these two different pieces of software in order to connect to your Mac OS. Once connected, you will need an infrared pen in order to interact with the whiteboard or touch screen surface, like so. But wait a minute, you say, he's holding a clothes peg with a little bulb attached to it. That's not an IR pen. Oh yes, it is. As you can see here, as I close the peg, the bulb lights up. That's an infrared LED bulb. So before buying an IR pen, you can create your own for less than one euro. Simply go down to your hardware store and buy an LED bulb like this one. And all you need to do then is to get yourself uh, one of these batteries. I think it's, uh, this one is uh, 2032 battery. And I've stuck it with double sided tape to a clothes peg so that when I click it, it actually, as you can see here, lights up. Now it didn't light up when I pointed it at the screen here, and that's because that's an iPhone. iPhones cannot show LED light or infrared. They had the infrared taken out of them. So if you want to test it, you will need to test it on an Android phone camera, that is. So that's all you need in order to make your own interactive whiteboard. Now later, I'm gonna show you in another video how to make an infrared pen like this one where you just press the button or it's uh, touch sensitive. You simply, you know, just buy one of these battery compartments and learn how to solder. And then you can simply solder it to this button and using an old magic marker, you can make your own pen. Now this video is in three parts. In the first part, we're gonna use method one to connect the Wiimote to Windows 11 or Windows 10. Now the second part is for those who are not successful in doing that and we're going to use the second piece of software which is also free called Smoothboard 2 and I'll give links to download that as well and we'll connect using that method which will be 100% foolproof I promise you. The third part of the video is where I show you some different PDF softwares, free softwares where you can manipulate images on the screen to make it interactive. And I'll show you two other free pieces of software, a very old version of Smart Notebook and Starboard, where you can use them free. They have lots of interactivity with them. There's even one especially dedicated for maths and you can use it legally for free. Now, the first thing we're gonna to need to do is attach our Wii to some sort of tripod in order to project it towards the screen. Now, it's good if you can buy one of these little tripods. This is for your camera. And what I like about it is this uh, part here where I can, if you watch, I can slip in the device here and simply pull tight on the strap. I can show you here, pull tight. So I use the strap to make it secure and there you can see my device is now secure and I can point it towards the screen. You can see that I also have a black Wii that I bought and this one as you can see <laughs> I made myself and all I did I got a selfie stick you can see this, look, this is a selfie stick right I turned the selfie stick upside down attached the Wii to it with the strap again and I got one of these clip things, which I just put either side of here and I made a little tripod kind of thing. So that's how that works here. You can see, let me show you better. So I made this kind of tripod and that's what I'm going to be using to aim at my laptop. Obviously you can be aiming this at a large wall where you have a projector projecting an image. And I'll show you a link to a video where I, I did this myself and I used the 
selfie stick and this clamp in order to hook it to the projector. However you do it, we need to connect to the PC. So without further ado, let's go to the first part where we're going to connect the Wiimote using the Wiimote Whiteboard 1.3 software. Now in order to connect our Wiimote to the Windows 11 PC, let's first download the Wiimote software. Here on this website, it's archive.org where everything here is for free, legally, I guess. Simply scroll down, I'll put a link in the description below, and click on the zip file here. And that will download the file to your downloads folder. Here I will put also a link down below to the Mac version of this software. Now in your downloads folder, double click the zip file, drag it onto your desktop, and we'll just open that and leave it in the corner for now. And we'll connect later. Let's now go to the Windows 10 model. And I just want to show you how much easier it was to connect with Windows 10 than Windows 11. Now, in the Windows 10 model, do not, I repeat, do not go to settings and then devices and Bluetooth and trying to add in this method because it won't work. You'll just be wasting your time. What you have to do is type in control panel, go to the control panel, and in devices and printers, you can simply click add a device. And when you click that, tap the buttons, it will look and find your Wiimote. I'm going to leave that up for now. Let's go to the Windows 11. And here in Windows 11, if I type control panel and devices and printers, I'm taken to the Windows system. I'm not taken to this area, which is where I want to get to. I'm taken to the Windows 11. So how do we get there? Well, that's why this video was made. Simply close off these and type in computer management. Click on that. In computer management, click on device manager. And then if you click on action, you'll just see the word help. So what you need to do is click on any of these devices. I don't care which one you click on. And then click action and you will see the logo for devices and printers. And there you can see we have a very similar look to the way we had it in the Windows 10. That's where we need to get to. Now once here, click add a device. And what we need to do is click these two buttons, get them flashing, and our device should show up. There it is. Click on the Windows Nintendo, click next. And there you see it says enter passcode, but don't do that. You don't need one, just click next. You can see the Windows Wiimote is still flashing crazily. Just click next, let it run its course. And there it is. If I move my head out of the way, you can see there's the Nintendo. In fact, there's two of them. Now it's still flashing away. So while it's doing this, let's go over to that software we want to use. If I move these out of the way, I can close this out now. And let's go over here where we have our software. The Wii is still flashing away and double click on the Wiimote exe file. Now it says uh, Windows Protection PC, don't run, click more info and run anyway. And there you will see we're connected. There's a blue light solid in the corner of the Wii signifying that it is connected. And now all I have to do is calibrate. Now, before I do that, I just want to show you that if we turn everything off, we don't have to go through this process again. So let's say I just close this off. I'm going to turn off the Wii. Okay. So imagine you come in another day. Let's move this folder here. All you have to do at the beginning of the day is Put your Wii in the holster, 
double click this and once you double click it it will be looking for it see it jumped and jumped out again don't worry just double click it again and there it is now I'm gonna press the two button one and two and I'm gonna click the word connect and I may even click it again just for fun and eventually you see it connects to it and that is how you connect your Wii and all we have to do now is calibrate it so I'm going to close this out and I'm going to press this calibration button and use my you know intricate device here that I have so let's see if we can calibrate this so you usually have four crosses one two three four and now you can see that's my pen Woohoo! so let's open up a PDF document imagine you're showing this I'll make this smaller remember I didn't click X I just made it smaller so now what I can do is I can use this to scroll up and down here I'll do it here so you can see and I can also I did make these words movable I'll show you how to do that in part three so have you ever what's the furthest you've traveled from home so let's move this word here home have you ever been abroad move this here so also I can use the pen and write uh, I can write here do you like package holidays I could write the word so I just wanted to show you how you can use this once it's up and running in part three I'll show you other PDF tricks and two interesting pieces of software smart notebook and starboard where you can also make many interactive things and there are also things already set up there especially if you're a mathematician so jump into part three if you've already done this part because in the next part I'm going to show you how to connect your Wii using a special software called Smoothboard just in case this failed for you so if this failed for you please don't worry I'm going to show you in part two how to connect with Smoothboard 2 Now I'm going to show you the second method of how to connect your Wiimote to Windows 11 using a free software called Smoothboard 2. If you've had trouble connecting your Wiimote using the first method, then this method is going to work 100% and it's very easy to use. Before we download the software, I just want to show you that in my devices here on the left, the Wiimote has been removed. So if I move my head out of the way, see, you can see there is no evidence of any Wiimote being attached to my PC. So now let's go and download this Smoothboard software. You can download it in a bundle with the software from the first method from a Google Drive I made. Or you can simply click on one of the links I've put down below. But maybe don't use this one because it's an older version of Smoothboard. So what I would do, I'm just going to refresh this page here and that will allow the download. You can see there it's been downloaded. Now remember, if you're on a Mac, I've also put the links down below for you to download. You may, with Windows, you may be asked to download this Microsoft Net Framework 3.5 if you haven't already in order to run that software. But it will ask you to do that, so don't worry. So as you can see in our downloads folder, here is the software. I'll just put it on the desktop. So let's just run it. And I'll move it here, install, I agree. 
and close. And there you can see the icon for the installation. I can put this in the bin now. Now once you have the icon, double click the icon and I'll move my head out of the way. You will have to wait nine seconds in order to click this continue unregistered. Now you could try and register now, but watch what happens. There's no website to go to, it, they've closed. So basically what we'll do is we just continue unregistered. So it's looking for the Wiimote. And what I'll do is I'll click these two buttons here. I'll just put on my display, click these two buttons here, and it should start looking for it. Make sure they are constantly flashing. See if they stop. So just stand by it and just keep clicking the two buttons. See, it's found it. Now wait for that to go green. Okay, it's gone green. And now it says it's installing. We should be able to launch the software. So let's launch it. And there you have it. It shows I've got 55% and I'm ready to roll. Now, if you think, wait a minute, it took him a bit of a while to do that. That's because I've been messing around with my computer, you know, deleting things and adding things. It really is fast. You just click it, plus it remembers your Wiimote. So watch this. Let's say we're connected, which we are. There's the green uh, power line. Let's say I click off this and it asks me here, it says, uh, do you want to disconnect the Wiimote? So I'm going to say, yeah, and we're going to close out. So it doesn't exist now. Yeah, there is no uh, software running. Watch how it remembers the Wiimote. So if I double click again, once again, I, I have to wait. You can see here on the, the monitor. I have to wait nine seconds again. And now I can continue. And you can see it remembers the number. So all I have to do is click the two buttons, one and two, get it flashing, and it'll latch onto that number and turn it green. Now, be patient, because if it, if it goes on and off very quickly, just give it a little while. There it is. And now I can launch the application. And there you are, we're connected. We didn't have to go through that rigmarole of going into the device and printers area. We're just using this software. So as you can see, all I have to do now is calibrate. So I've got my magic clip, which is still working, by the way. So I'm going to calibrate now. And there you can see, just like the first method, I can move my pen around anywhere I like. In addition, you can see they've given us this free software whereby I can use the pen to write hello. And you have a highlighter as well. And other things, you even have a, a screen white screen and you can make lines on it so that you can write properly you know a oh i'm still in yellow let's go back to the pen a b c you get the drift just click exit to remove all of that now i prefer not to use that so what what you can do is just click this little thing here and it goes very small and just put it in the corner. And that way I can then start using my PDF uh, reader or software and I can start writing again here. Learn.
It's because I'm stretching my writings all over the place. But you get the idea. So this is the way that you can connect using Smoothboard, and it was so easy. So let's move on to part three, where I'm going to show you this PDF reader and other PDF readers. But mainly I'm going to show you the two amazing pieces of software, Smart Notebook and Starboard. Now in part three, I want to quickly introduce you to two amazing pieces of software that you can use your interactive pen with. And the first is this Smart Notebook. Now, I'll just open it up here. And it's 11, because it's from 2011. Now it says, would you like to download Flash? This is because in the past it used Flash. Some of the games were Flash. Just click Cancel. Now this is an activated version, and if you don't believe me, I'll put a link in the description above, or below, where you can watch my video, and it shows you where to download this, how to set it up, and uh, the legalities of it. I've looked at lots of uh, information about it. And it's pre-activated this when you download it. So if you were to go to this website here, and you could just download a Mac version, a Windows version. I'll put the links below. Please remember to open this one in Firefox because with the Firefox, if I click download, it will come up and say, oh, uh, ooh, this is a dangerous software. Are you sure you want it? Just right click and say, or left click and say, allow download. And then you'll just simply download it. So. Because if you go on uh, Google with it, it won't let you download, it won't show it. But in Firefox it will. However, if you're in Google, you can go to this other link, which I'll put in the description below, and simply download here. Download from here, click this download, and it will download for you, as you can see it's doing here. I'll stop that, in fact. Cancel that. And then you can install it, it's pre-activated. The other software I'm going to show you is called Starboard, and for this one, you simply download the Starboard Windows bundle. But first, let's look at this Smart Notebook. So here's the Smart Notebook. Now, I took these images from a book that I was teaching from, and it's brilliant because you can actually, obviously, you've got lots of pen tools you can write with here. You can write pen tools. You have different colors you can use. If you if you click here, you've got red, blue, orange, all the colors of the rainbow. And you can write anything you want. Uh, I did this one where I was able to move the images. So if you click here, and I'm going to use my pen now, this one. And you can simply, as you can see me, cake. Okay, I think he's eating some. Where's the cake? She's eating cake. Carrot is probably in here. Chocolate, well, where's that? And I have a video to show you how to make this kind of activity. Remember, you can always have a game where different teams can be different colors. If you make this bigger, click uh, yellow, could be fish. And then the pink team, they could write juice. And the green team can say cheese. And it, you can make it a competition. So that's quite nice. And other things you can do, you've got these words here. You know, something red, chips, I don't think so. Notice here that there is the smoothboard register coming up here. You can see here on the, on the little screen there. You can see it keeps moving. It's at the bottom now. So that'll be there if you're connecting using smoothboard. Like I say, it doesn't get in the way doesn't cause a problem at all. This was one of the flash games I used to use, but it doesn't work anymore. But you can still do many, many things with this whiteboard software. You can make it very interactive, uh, lots of colors. You can do things like with this one here, you can see you can use words like many, any, a lot of, 
and you can do it multiple times. It's a brilliant piece of software. Uh, another one I'd like to show you is just how you can use it to teach the weather. So in this one, I have the weather ad adjectives and all you have to do is click on cloudy day. Does cloudy day go here? Yes, it does. Uh, draft. No, it doesn't. Drought goes here. And it spins. Yay. Hail. Let's have a look. Dry. Nope. Dry. Nope. Dry. Here. Spins. So you can see how uh, you can use this when you have a pen and it's very active. Also, they could tell the weather. They could go, oh, today it's going to be sunny in Seville. And it's also going to be sunny in Cordoba and sunny in Valencia. It's basically sunny everywhere in Spain. So these are great tools. This one is Smart Notebook. And I'll put a link in the description to my YouTube videos where I show you how to make these interactive displays. All this is free, remember. And now there is Starboard. Starboard, once again, is free, but you will have this logo in the top left corner saying you've not connected to a starboard you know piece of software and that's why you've got the icon but you can use it forever I have to click on here and then you can move the words here how often i made them different colors to teach them different parts of grammar so this is all well and good but the best thing about this is this game that's free and I'll show you, I'll put a link in a description to show you a video I made on how to use this word game, activate it. So you can click all colors and then start. And obviously that color is black. Just get rid of this smooth board thing. So obviously continue unregistered. Uh, there is a video, I will put a link in the description, a video of a young boy who has actually put a, a, a crack of some sort or the code where you can actually make it registered and get rid of this, you know, thing jumping around. But here, obviously, you can move these words here, black. If you're not sure if it's correct, click hint. And then it goes here and you can click. So if we did it wrong, it would be like this. And then someone else can come, do it correctly. And there it's done. And there's lots of things. There's color, there's weather, there's country. Oh, it's so brilliant. And it's free and it's already made for you. You can actually change the words, add your own words in this. And that's the starboard. There's probably a million other things you can do with starboard as well. For instance, you can make the background a different color. All that kind of thing. Now, before we leave Starboard, remember when you download it and install it with the bundle, you have the option of adding the maths tools. Now, the maths tools, which come here, are US or metric. And they, for some reason, do not have any watermarks on them or anything. And you can add all these tools. Look at these things. You can add uh, some kind of pie charts, bar charts. You can add a calendar like this. Look, it's up to date. You can add one of these spin two clocks and then make it spin. So enjoy your free maths tool. It's free. There's no watermark. Don't ask me why, but enjoy teaching maths. So that's those free softwares. What I want to show you now is a couple of free PDFs. Now, obviously, the best one and the most popular one is this version this adobe acrobat dc and here once again i can move these icons that i prepared earlier and i'm going to show you which pdf allowed me to do that so this one is the one i want them to use to activate the tools you can even embed audio into the pdf so when you're showing on the board you can simply click it and you get a warning you want to trust it yes i do Click it again. Unit two, recording one. 
See, and the audio will play from the board. So if you're a teacher, you can just point at the board, get everything working. It's that simple. Now, how this was created was using two different tools. One is, now this is Foxit Reader. Now with Foxit Reader, that's how I added the audio because here, and I've got a video, I'll show you a link description where you can add audio. You just simply add the audio, it will embed it into the file. So that's what's good about Foxit. It also has the drawing tools and the highlighter pen. Like here, you've got the pencil, you can draw, obviously. And you can obviously, if you have the hand tool, move these objects again, and things like that. But the creation of the audio is with this one. The creation of the moving, moving the objects, is with this one. And the reason I did it with this one is because if you, if you look, once you've copied it, you can see exactly where it should go. So if I want to make, uh, let's have a look at these other words here, some of these movable, let's say become, probably become more self-confident. You just go up here, click snapshot, and it will do that. And you can turn that into a movable piece of vocabulary. You can also resize it, you could make it bigger, but I prefer that to be the same size. And then, using your mouse, simply make it movable. There it goes. And that's how you can create that. I'll put a link in the description uh, below as well to a video where how to make any PDF interactive with all these things. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, this is the software. I hope you download everything. Enjoy being a more interactive teacher. So don't forget to subscribe, give this video a like, and I'll see you on the next video.